Hi, this is Heidi from Garden Crossings and I'm going to go take a walk out in the backyard today and do a little foraging for things for a future project that we have coming up. After I've gone through my yard and done the foraging, I'm going to head over to a friend's yard who has even more selection of cool things for this new winter project we'll be launching here soon. So let's head on out to the backyard and see what we can find. Before we head out to the backyard, I need to find the proper tools. I almost forgot. And I was just sent this beautiful new pruners from a company called Sen Green. It comes in this really gorgeous black box here. Let's open it up so it's like a great gift box. And then inside there is their pruners. Beautiful color, the black and then the stainless steel here. Really, it's a heavy duty pruner too. Like there's, there's some decent weight to that. So we're gonna head out and give it a try. That way I can give you a product review along with what we're doing. So it's got the little unlock clasp there, springs open. So let's go out and give these sun green trimmers, our pruners, a try while we're out forging. First thing I'm gonna grab are some hydrangea blooms. Now I know I've trimmed a ton of these earlier in the season um, because for this project that we're doing this winter, we're gonna need a lot of them for the garden center. But I'm gonna go out right now and just trim some fresh um, that way I don't have to use any of that inventory that I have for this winter's uh, parties. So we'll go in and I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna let them fall to the ground because I'm doing this with like one hand. But I wanna make sure I have nice long stems. So we're gonna go in there, probably about two and a half foot is how long I'm cutting them. Just give it a little snip. I'm gonna grab three because when I do these kind of things I like to do them in threes. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and cut four. I'm gonna to move to a different area because I don't wanna to like totally thin out that one spot. Um, although this tree is gonna get trimmed way back this winter. Hopefully that'll be Saturday's project. Uh, let's see here, I'm trying to find a nice big one that's got like a long stem. So go in and trim again. There we go. So I've got them sitting here on the ground. So this is about how long I've trimmed them. Didn't really pay attention to how brown they are on the tips, but for the most part, they all have a nice fresh side, so I'll let them dry, and these will look good in the, in the porch planters. So there's four of them there. That should be enough for this first project that I'm gonna do. So we're gonna head out back and see what else we can find back there that will look good. So as I'm heading out back, I just had a squirrel moment because this proudberry bush looks amazing. Gardeners have come through and cleaned everything up, so this just is really a focal plant. This is something I probably could prune for my project um, but I'm not going to because I don't want to use something that I'm not going to be able to also um, have enough for you to use but look at those beautiful proud berries all right let's continue on to where we're actually headed out to so we're heading out back here to the creek side where I have some evergreens and I think I have two evergreens back here if I can get back here. Um, there are two evergreens. There's a blue spruce like way in there. I'm not going to go after that because I don't feel like, you know, sneaking my way through all this thick foliage. But the one I really wanted is this yellow arborvitae. So I'm just going to cut a few long branches of this. I think this will look nice in when I'm creating. Just give a little color contrast. One thing I'm noticing this year, there's a lot of brown in there, which doesn't mean the plant's dying. It's just kind of like shedding, I think, right now. So go ahead and we'll snip a few of these branches out and head over to the next plant that will be my victim. It's really funny, like when you're looking at this plant, you see so much yellow, but then when you go to trim the branches, it's like, oh, where's the yellow? They're kind of all green. That one's got a lot of yellow on it. And the tips are yellow, so it will contrast nicely um, with the green other greens I'll be using. But it's just weird how a plant can look so vastly different than what you're trimming out of it. Well, the next thing I'm gonna grab are just a couple of sprigs off of these arborvitaes. You can see there's kind of a little bit of different texture going on here. Uh, these are pretty tight, where this one's a little looser. And I'm not gonna grab a lot, but just maybe a branch or two, just to introduce a little bit more texture into what I'm gonna be creating. I didn't grab a whole lot here, like I said, just one branch of each. And um, that will just give just a little extra different texture. Don't need a lot of this, but this should be good. All right, now we're gonna head over to my friend's house and see what she has in her garden for me to 
Forge. One last thing before I head over to my friends, I was heading up the hill here from the backyard to the front yard and remembered this beautiful evergreen that is my neighbor's. So this is a really cool plant. I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's very like the branches are all weeping. So those I use kind of as a spiller. So I'm gonna cut just three little twigs or branches off of this and we'll see how we use those in the design. All right, so I'm heading over to my friend's house now and I'm sure even though I haven't told you exactly yet what this project is that we're gonna be working on, um, I'm sure you're having thoughts in your head what it's going to be and I'm sure those thoughts are right. So what I'm gonna tell you is this winter, uh, starting the weekend before Thanksgiving, Garden Crossings is going to be doing uh, the winter season, which will be porch pots and garden gnomes made out of evergreens and such. So we're really excited to be able to offer that this year. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm going out to find things to make up some samples to show you exactly what the projects will be looking like. So that being said, classes will be limited because this is our first year doing it and we just we don't know what the response is going to be. So we are inviting people to sign up and sign up early uh, to reserve your spot at either our porch pot workshop parties or at our gnome uh, porch pot parties. We also invite you to gather a group of friends, 12 or more, and we'll pick a time where we can do a private party for you and your friends. You can bring in snacks, drinks, drinks of your choice, whatever it is, and have a fun girls night out, a fun work party. Um, take the husbands, make it, a, make it a date night thing. We don't care. We just want you to have fun with friends creating something fun for your porch. This is a very easy class. So even if you're somebody who's like, I am just not a creative person, don't let this intimidate you because this is for everyone from the beginner to those who feel like they just really know what they're doing when they're doing creating. So we're gonna have a standard kit we're gonna to put together that will have like a lot of fun elements uh, to create the perfect look looking porch planter. And then we'll have a bunch of add-ons too. So if there's you know extra different things you wanna add into that container to get it just the way you want it, um, we'll have other options. We'll provide the soil, the pot, the greens, and um, other decorative elements. But if you have a planter that you like to use for your porch every year, that's not a problem. You can bring that in and create right into your planter. Um, we have the set amount of things that are for use in um, the price that we're gonna be uh, doing this for. But if your planter's bigger and you need to add some things in, that's go a la carte and add extra things in because we want you to have the planter that is just what you're looking for. So excited to introduce this this year, uh, something new. I've done this for many, many years. Um, we've even taken the team from Garden Crossings out to other um, greenhouses in the past and did this as a fun team building experience and everyone that went just had a blast. So I encourage you to uh, potentially gather your team, gather your friends, gather your Bible study group, whatever it may be, and set a time that you can join us for one of our pre-scheduled planting parties or book one with your group. So, all right, continuing heading out to my friends so I can get a few more things. And um, I hope you're gonna enjoy the video of me creating this um, it's always so fun I love putting these type of things together like for me this is no-brainer like I can do it and I feel confident what I'm doing so hopefully that's the feeling that you also would have um, when you're putting together po uh, porch planters all right let's see what she's got so I just arrived at my friend Ellie's house and I'm gonna walk through her garden she's a beautiful garden here um, she's been gardening how long have you been gardening for Ellie 40 or some years, her and her husband did a beautiful job of landscaping this. And um, yeah, she just, she's got a lot of fun, unique things. So we're gonna see once what we can find in here that would be great for the project. This pine tree, this evergreen, it's really cool. I didn't notice, it's nice and full, which is good to start with. But as I trimmed it and it fell to the ground, check out the backside, it's silver. So that's gonna add some cool dynamic to the planter, adding a little bit of silver in with a green. So she's not sure of what kind of, uh, pine tree this is but 
just really neat. So I'm going to pull a couple branches off of this. I think this is a white pine, so it's very wispy. It doesn't have a lot of structure, but we'll add some texture. And then this one here, I don't know what it's called, and she wasn't sure either. We forget, but um, this one has got a little bit longer needles. It's really pretty, and it's soft. So as I'm trimming this, I don't hurt my fingers because the, the needles don't poke. Um, and it smells really nice as well. It's a nice tall pine tree. So we're going to try to reach some of the branches that are sticking out. So this is a really big hemlock tree that she has in her yard. And she was pointing out these cute little, little pine cones. So I'm going to take just a couple little snips off of this just to have some of those little pine cones on there for interest. All right, as we're walking through Ellie's garden, she's pointing out to me this vine. It's called the China vine, she said. And the thing she pointed out was, look at these berries. Like you never see like blue, beautiful blue, teal blue, at least I haven't on anything. Bright plum berry and then royal. So many cool colors. The thing I'm noticing is, is it does seem like it's an aggressive vine. So maybe, you know, something you would want to put in a very purposeful place. But the berry, she says the birds just love, love eating on this plant. Royals and periwinkles. She keeps trying to give me some, but I don't want that in my garden. <laughs> so before I got here, Miss Ellie started creating her own little winter porch pot. So she's adding a few things to it as we went along the walk. But let's take a look at what she did. Look at all the beautiful texture from all of the different pine trees and stuff in her yard. And then she's got winter berries. Those are gorgeous. And that really just breaks it up a little bit and draws your eye to all the beautiful texture. Nice job, Ellie. So she's got gorgeous winterberry trees and she said I can take a few little twigs off of this so this is going to look so pretty in the planters. Look at those things. It may or may not strip the greens off, we'll see, but what a gorgeous specimen. All right, so this is a pretty thick branch and this, I'm just kind of waving it back and forth, but it is cutting through it really nicely. <laughs> so while I was so while I was here, I put this little planter together with Allie. She had it started and we just kind of filled it in a little bit. She has so many red berries, so that's really cool because that adds a lot of color to the planter. So what do you think, Al? Yeah, it looks really nice. <laughs> Good. Yeah. All right, now we'll head back to the greenhouse and start putting some samples together so you can see what our projects will be looking like for the upcoming events. So I had a pretty successful day foraging at my friend Ellie's house. I've got lots of fun greens to work with. So excited now to head back to the greenhouse and put together uh, the project and show you just exactly what it is that we are looking to do in our uh, porch pot, our winter porch pot parties. So obviously some of the greens and stuff that I got from Ellie's house are gonna be different than what will come in our shipment of evergreens, but at least they'll give us a good idea of what we're looking to do and what you can expect from the porch planter parties. This is Heidi from Garden Crossings.